Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today we will be talking about how to simplify the user registration page screen fields on DNN. Right now, if you go to an out of the box DNN 9, it will ask you for username. It will ask you for display name. What's the point at, at this day and age to ask for a username for any website? Usually, the username is the email address. So I would like to simplify the registration page on DNN by removing the display name, removing the username, and shuffling around the fields, and actually breaking down the display name into first name and last name. And we're going to be talking about that on this tip. But before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention a new video that has been released on DNN Hero from DNN Creative that talks about how to create a DNN theme from the CSS grid layout. And here's a new series, a 30 minute session done by Andy from DNN Creative. Now DNN Hero distributes DNN Creative content. And if you are a design professional, a UI, you know, if you create themes for DNN, this might be something that you are interested. Grid layout is not fully supported yet across all the different browsers. So if you want to be on the edge of stuff, on the edge of technology, on the edge of UI, you may want to check out this series. Now let's get back to our DNN tip of the week. So here we have a DNN 9.1 website. It's my test site. If I click register, you're going to see the standard registration view of DNN with the standard fields as well. So what I want to do again, just to recap, I want to get rid of username and use email address as the unique identifier for the user of the site. I also don't want display name, but I want first name and last name. In regards to password, I may or may not want a confirmation field, but let's see, let's have a look at that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna flip here to the back end of the site as a new instance. I'm already logged in as super user account, and I'm going to the settings security. And from here, I'm going to member accounts, registration settings. Let's do the first change here. If we scroll down, there's a checkbox or a toggle that says that uh, I can use email address as the username. So that's the first change here. Let's switch that, save, and let's have a look how this looks like after we refresh. So let's register. Now you see, you no longer see username, you just see email address. So behind the scenes, DNN will take the email address and populate the username of DNN, which is still required as the email address of that user. Now, next thing is let's get rid of display name and have first name and last name. So if I go back here to the back end, I can go up and see display name format. So if you ha have a look here on the help, you can see that you can put you know, square brackets, first name and last name, just like this. They work like tokens. And what I'm telling DNN is that DNN, instead of asking me for the display name, just use first name and last name as the format going forward for display name. Let's save this and let's have a look how this is looking like right here after, after we refresh. So as you can see, first name and last name is being displayed now because we are asked them in place of the display name. Now, what if I just want to ask password once? I don't want a confirmation whether or not you want to do that. It's up to you, but I'm going to show you how you can achieve that. So if you come here, there is a password confirmation toggle as well, which you can turn off. You can save this. And if you flip again, refresh, register, you see it's only showing once. Now, what is the weird thing here? The weird thing is the order of those fields, you know, password first and then first name, last name, email. I want to change things here. So here's what I'd like to do. I would like potentially to move email address as the first one, then first name, last name, 
and then passwords. So how can we shuffle that around? Well, let's go back there. And now we're going to have to switch instead of standard registration type form type, we're going to have to switch to custom. And by going to custom, this is just a test that I was doing before. I'm just going to eliminate this. I'm just going to enter the names of the fields that I want to display in the order that I want. So email address, and it pops up uh, a filtering list below. So email first name, and I'll select that last name. I'll select that and last one password. I'll select that. I scroll down. I'll save this. And if I switch back there, refresh this, click register again, you're going to see that the new order is now in place. Now to finalize, before that you go, just want to bring to your attention that because you have switched the email address to be the username, from now on, when you try to log in, it will ask for the email address, no longer for the username. And this is just in case you are using the default host as the super user. Now you will have to use the email address of the host user, no longer just the username called host. That's about it. That's how you can simplify the registration page on a DN9 website. That's it. Thanks. Bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.